Hi, um, I'm Megan with My Discovery Destination. I'm the Assistant Director and joining me today is Emily from Blue Star Families. Now, Emily, can you tell us a little bit about Blue Star Families? Yes, Blue Star Families is a national organization that was started in 2009 by a group of military spouses who at the time, although they thought there was a lot of support for the military community, there wasn't a great understanding of the struggles that military families experienced. So they started Blue Star Families uh, to just help tell the military story, essentially. And every year since then, we have a national survey of military and veteran families that helps us tell that story. And we create programs and events to help with those biggest, the big lifestyle challenges that military and veteran families face. And we put on those programs in the community uh, every year. So I'm with Blue Star Families of Utah. Utah chapter was started here in 2019. And we've been, we serve a 65 mile radius around Salt Lake City. Um, we have about, just, just about 2,500 members uh, here in Northern Utah uh, that participate with our chapter in, in some way. Um, but we basically do military and veteran support. Uh, so a lot of programs, events, uh, different opportunities to uh, help military veterans get out, socialize, um, not just with each other, but also with their civilian neighbors and counterparts, uh, mostly to help reduce social isolation, build community amongst our military and veteran families is the bulk of what we do here at Blue Star Families. That, that's awesome. You know, I didn't know a whole lot about it. I'm glad you're sharing it with us. I have a, a, a daughter that serves in the Navy and I appreciate all organizations that help support mil military families. So that being said, who can be part of Blue Star Families? So Blue Star Families, sometimes we, there's a little bit of confusion around our name and what that really means. And it does come from the Blue Star flags from World War two that families used to put in their window to signify that they had a service member who was overseas. Uh, so that's where the name comes from, but we've definitely evolved over the years. Uh, we kind of started with um, support for our deployed uh, service members, uh, but we've since expanded. So today, um, it doesn't matter how you are affiliated with the, with the military community, uh, whether you're active duty, National Guard, reserve, whether you're a veteran, retiree, wounded warrior, a caregiver, a parent, like it doesn't matter how you're affiliated with the military community, you can be a member of Blue Star Families. And then also our civilian counterparts, what we call our neighbors, our civilian neighbors, we also invite them to be members of Blue Star Families uh, because if they're really, you know, if they're supporters of the military community, we want them to be members. We want them to come out um, to our events um, and participate in activities with their, with their military and veteran counterparts. So anybody can actually be a member of Blue Star Families. So we make it, we make it pretty easy. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Um, share with us really quick, maybe your website so that people know where to go to join. Yes, so our website is bluestarfam.org. Org, so it's fam like short for family, F A M, Foxtrot Alpha Mike. <laughs> so um, and it's just boostarfam.org/join if you would like to join and get a free membership. So membership is free to everyone. That's cool. And it entitles you to a couple different things as well. Um, so you you'll get periodic updates from Booster Families just with what we're doing. If you're you know, in Utah and you live within our chapter radius, you'll get information about what Utah chapter is doing. Um, if you live outside of that, you'll get the information for um, the closest applicable chapter to you. Um, but then there's also about $700 of free perks and benefits that our members get uh, that there's no obligation. They're just, it's for all of our members. Um, you just have to create a username and password on our website and go to our deals, member deals and perks page. And uh, we've got a lot of great things in there. Um, our most popular are our apps that we have partnerships with. So we have the apps Headspace and Spirit Tune. Those are both mindfulness and meditation apps. One is Spirit Tune is super music based. 
uh, Headspace also has music, but also has a lot of guided meditation. I use it myself for sleep. It's amazing. And then we also have the app Caribou, which is a reading app. One of the missions in the Passport, uh, when you go in there, you download the app. The app is amazing. It geolocates to your location. So you can search all the parks that are available and it covers not just parks, but like any national park asset. So whether it's a historical site or a monument, like whatever classification of park or forest or it is, um, you can search all those different things. So it's really great if you do a lot of traveling every summer, you can, you can also search by zip code and you can see what's available for when you travel. So that's really great. But with the onset of the pandemic, uh, we had to take a little bit closer look as, as to how people could use that app when we couldn't get into our national parks. <laughs> so we completely re-engineered that app last year so that it now has a virtual visits tab in there. And we've connected all of the national parks that have any type of virtual content. So there's some parks that have webcam experiences. There's some parks that have like virtual exhibits for their parks, videos, different things that you can go online and learn about that particular location uh, to include the junior ranger program. So the junior ranger program is a program in typically in our national parks where you go to the park and kids participate in activities. And then when they're done, they actually get a junior ranger badge that they get to keep and take home and collect. And there's also a virtual version of that badge in many, many, many of our uh, national parks. And I think after last year, it's probably going to be one of those things where eventually most, if not all of our national parks are going to offer that virtually uh, to families. So all of that is connected in that, in that app. So you can go to the virtual visits tab. And, you know, if you're not able to get out and travel over the summer, for whatever reason, you can take a virtual visit to hundreds of parks across the U.S. Uh, and complete, complete your junior ranger badge, uh, check out webcams and different things and um, still have a, a fun virtual experience from the comfort of your, from your own home. Um, that, yeah, that's, so that's kind of how, why we awesome. built uh, that into the summer passports because we're, we're really passionate, especially for our military families every summer for them to actually get out and see their national parks. Our service members work hard to defend uh, our freedoms in our homeland and they should be able to get out and see, you know, some of the more beautiful areas of our country and our international parks. So that's why we were really passionate about getting military families out into national parks, but really everybody should be getting out to our national parks. They're some of the most beautiful, pristine, you know, places in our country, we should be getting out and experiencing them more. So that's, that's why for us, it was really important to connect, connect families with those opportunities this summer as things open up and we can get outside and really start doing things in the community again. Right. Well, yeah. And, and thanks for sharing all that with us. It sounds like that uh, doing this certain adventure, our uh, becoming a junior ranger adventure in the summer passport program, we can kill two birds with one stone. You can, like you said, virtually check out all the parks, become a junior ranger with the parks. Um, I, I really like that idea. So parents, make sure you you want to you wanna hit that one for sure. Um, next yes. question I have for you is about the summer passport program. What caught your interest about our summer passport program and made you want to be part of it? Well, for, for us, I mean, we, especially myself, definitely understand the challenges of um, having a family and trying to keep them entertained over the summer months. I think it's the struggle that we all have every year, especially for military families. Uh, sometimes we're in transition over the summer, uh, so it can be really hard to plan trips or go on outings um, when you're, you know, between two different households and trying to establish a new household in a new place where you've never been. So for us, trying to connect families with opportunities where they can go out and, and participate in experiences that kind of work for them, uh, especially with things opening up this year. Um, some things are open, some things are not, some things still have restrictions. Uh, some families are still just limited um, if they have family members who, um, who have health issues um, where they may be 
um, you know, suppressed. They may still have issues being out in the community still, even though things are opening up. So for us, being able to provide them options to participate in activities that are also virtually at home, or they can go out into the community on their own, just like in a park or wherever to kind of do some of these activities, you know, in a virtual way with the app, like the Goose Chase app. Um, to us, that was, that would that really spoke to us <laughs> since uh, we, we know we have challenges. We know um, military families, sometimes they get priced out of a lot of the summer camp up opportunities or because they're between two locations, um, they miss out on those types of things because um, they're either in transition or they're not gonna be there the entirety of the camp or whatever it may be. Um, so really trying to tie them to something that's easy, fun and free, <laughs> that's yes. the big part free um is really great because we 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 definitely understand um that keeping kids entertained over the summer uh is often not a cheap undertaking <laughs> it can yeah. be quite expensive so any any time that we can connect our our members to free opportunities um we we take advantage because everything that we do at boost our families all of our programs and events are always free for families and we and we try to tap them into as many other free opportunities in the community as we can yeah, we appreciate that. And yes, my, my Discovery Destinations programs are always going to be free for families. And um, uh, yeah, uh, I just lost my train of thought. So we'll just go on to the next question. <laughs> um, how can our families support the work that you are doing at Blue Star? families? Uh, can they like uh, social media pages, um, share things? Uh, how do they spread the word? Let's hear about it. Yeah, so I mean, whether they're military affiliated or not, like we always appreciate the support here at Blue Star Families of our civilian community. Um, really just kind of checking us out, checking out our webpage, um, checking out our Facebook page. So here in Utah, our Facebook page is just at UTBSF, like Utah BSF. Um, just kind of check out and see what kind of events and opportunities we we have in the community. We're always looking for volunteers uh, for different events. Sometimes we have large scale events where we need uh, people just to, to do check-in or to help organize things, uh, set up, clean up, that kind of thing. Uh, so we're always always looking for people who, will, who would like to give back to the military community. Uh, so there's definitely opportunities for that. Um, they check out our Facebook page where they can see all of our events that we have going on. And um, just being just being a member helps us out. It helps us out with our demographics in our chapter locations to see, um, you know, who who is interested and connected uh, with the local chapter. So again, it's just that bluestarfam.org/join. And again, anybody can be a member. It's a hundred percent free, and there's never any obligation. A lot of people ask us, like, well, when's the next meeting? <laughs> like well there, there's no meetings <laughs> there's no meetings there's no obligation we're not asking anybody to drink any kool-aid like it's just a free uh free membership and um if you want to come out and experience some of our opportunities it's they're always free um and we just want people to come out and have fun with us yeah oh thank you emily thanks so much for sharing that anything else that you want us to know want our families to know about you uh, just that, that we're here, that we're here in the, the Salt Lake City area. We support a 65 mile radius around Salt Lake. So it's pretty much like most of Northern Utah, all the way, from, it's like Spanish Fork, all the way almost to Logan, and mm -hmm. then Dugway Proving Ground uh, to the west, all the way um, pretty much to the state line to the east. So <laughs> we cover a huge area of operations. Um, we're, we're always, I mean, we try to get out into the community as much as we can uh, with events and um, programs and things. So come and check us out. Awesome. And I will certainly do that when we are done with our, our talk today. Yeah, uh, awesome. We appreciate you sharing. Again, this is um, Megan with My Discovery Destination and talking with Emily from Blue Star Families. Go check them out at, I think I wrote it down, uh, bluestarfam.org and bluestarfam.org forward slash join to join and it's free. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, we appreciate the time. Um, okay, recording.